So one of the most common questions I've gotten on this app since I've been on this app is, I'm on Terzepatide and I want to switch to Retitrutide. How do I do it? And as always, this is not medical advice. Please always consult your doctor before you do anything. This is for education and research purposes only. Let's get into it. So first, this is gonna come from a standpoint of you're only using terzepatide solely for weight loss. If you're using terzepatide for any other health condition, this does not apply to you. Now, if you're on a low dose of terzepatide, like a two and a half milligram or a five milligram dose of terzepatide, the transition will be pretty easy for you to go over to retitrutide. Um, if you're on a five milligram dose, I would just say the next week's go to two and a half milligrams, and then the following week, you could probably start at one milligram to two milligrams of retitrutide. But most of the questions that I do get are from people that have been on terzepatide for a very long time. So they're on very high doses of terzepatide. They've been on very high doses of terzepatide for a very long time. I'm talking 15 milligrams and plus. Now this isn't a perfect science, but this is better than quitting cold turkey. But the bottom line is, is that you do have to titrate off a of terzepatide before you start on a low dose of retitrutide. But here's a fairly simple way to do it. For instance, let's just say you're on 15 milligrams of terzepatide. Terzepatide is usually increased by two and a half milligrams. Um, so two and a half milligrams to five, five to seven and a half, seven and a half to 10, so on and so forth. So if you're on 15 milligrams of terzepatide, you're gonna do 15 milligrams for your final week. The next week you're gonna go to 12 and a half. The following week you're gonna go to 10. The following week you're gonna go to seven and a half, all the way down until you get to two and a half. And once you get to two and a half, milligrams of terzepatide, then you can make your transition over to retitrutide at one to two milligrams. I know this sounds like a daunting task because you've been on terzepatide for so long, 15 milligrams, you're afraid that your appetite's gonna come back, your inflammation's gonna come back, blah, blah, blah. I understand. Here's a thing to help with if you are scared of that. Once you make your first titrate down to 12 and a half milligrams or whatever, you can add in cagrolintide, which is an appetite suppressant through a different pathway, through the AMPK pathway. And since cagrolintide doesn't necessarily target the GLP-1 or the GIP receptors, it's not going to harm um, anything once you make the transition to retitrutide. But it will give you some additional appetite suppressant to help you get through the titrating down. So for instance, you're going to 15 to 12 and a half to 10, Add in a quarter milligram of cagrolintide per week. That's it. If you've been on cagrolintide for a while, you're, it's probably time to start titrating down on the cagrolintide as well. But again, you don't necessarily have to since it does work on a different pathway. At the end of the day, if you're on a high dose of terzepatide or even semaglutide for that matter, and you're trying to transition to a retitrutide at a low dose, it's not, you're probably not gonna feel anything. It's probably not gonna work for you and you're gonna sit there and throw your hands in the air and say retitrutide sucks, uh, it doesn't work. The problem is is that retitrutide and terzepatide are very close to being the exact same medication. Retitrutide has the added uh, glucagon receptor agonist, um, but terzepatide does have stronger um, GIP and GLP-1 medications in it, so it has stronger appetite suppression. So if you don't want to titrate down, you want to switch from terzepatide right over to retitrutide, you're going to be at a high dose of retitrutide. I'm talking six milligrams plus. And that can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.